Vierke, hello and welcome back to my channel everybody. If you guys are new here, my name is Nush and I make reactions here on YouTube. And today we're going to be continuing on our Eurovision 2023 series. Specifically, we are going to be looking at Lithuania's song for this year's contest. And last night, Lithuania had their Pabandom is now yo. We reacted to all the songs that were competing in this a few days ago. So if you have not checked that out, click above here because I actually thought it was a pretty decent national selection. There was a few songs in this that I thought would go straight to Eurovision. For instance, Paulina with the song Let Me Think About Me. However, that has not been chosen and the song that Lithuania has picked is the song Stay with Monica Linkie. Monica Linkite, I think that's how you pronounce it. I did actually think this song had Eurovision potential when I first listened to it. So I am very intrigued right now to see how the performance went last night because clearly you guys were won over this one. Ruta Mur came second, Beatrix came third, Petunia came fourth and Paulina was fifth, so she was really low down there. I have no idea what went down, so let me know down in the comments what made this stand out more, but I think we should just find out for ourselves right now. But before we do so, please do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel over here. That is very important. Clicking that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you want to follow me over on Instagram or TikTok, it is Nush. One oh one. So Monica actually performed for Lithuania in 2015, which I completely didn't clock until now. So she clearly has some experience in this contest. Clicking play. I must say, Lithuania's staging is incredible. Oh. She has an incredible voice. I do remember this off the get-go as well. I love that outfit. Pretty powerful, and it is catchy, so we're winning with that. I do love how like the backing singers are really involved. Oh yes, I mean pitch perfect. See, I didn't remember the ethnicity stuff being so prominent before. I mean, this bit I remember from the semis and I love this. Yes! That was actually so much better than the semis. Okay, I can see why that was picked. I mean, the performance side of things were 10 out of 10, I think. It's catchy, it's uplifting. Her voice is powerful. She's got great stage presence. I really love the illustration in the back and it's got kind of like a tribal thing about it, doesn't it? Almost chanty, I don't know. I still feel like I preferred Paulina's song though, when we're just talking about the song and the performance overall. I can see why this was picked and I do think this will do quite well in Eurovision. It's not here to me the way that Paulina's song did, in my opinion, but it is an overall great package deal and I think that Lithuania is gonna do better with this song than, for instance, Ruta Mur. We've heard that 80 sound way too much now and even though I fully enjoyed that and the song itself, it's just we have some better contenders with that in the national selections. At this point of time, it isn't my favorite song that we've got out, but it's definitely one I'm going to remember. It's not gonna be lost for me, I don't think. I'm just, I'm, I think I'm in the middle with this. Like, it isn't the Roop kind of thing, you know? Like, the Roop had 
a special quality about it that I was like obsessed with. And yet again, maybe this song just isn't a song that I would automatically listen to, but I still enjoyed it. I think I would give this 6.5, 7 out of 10. But anyway, guys, of course, that was just what I thought. I want to know what you thought of Lithuania's song for this year's Eurovision Song Contest. Please let me know down in the comment section below, and I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye-bye.